Hello everyone, this video is about the bridge technique. Uh, what is the bridge technique, right? The bridge technique is a technique uh, for the end games where you have a rook, a king, and maybe some pawns, or maybe one pawn only. And the idea is that we would like to block our opponent's rook from capturing our pawn so that we can have a clear path for a pawn promotion. All right? So I will be showing you two positions. The first position is this one. This one, I was um, coaching my friend. We were going over some exercises, and this is the position that we came across, where it's a winning position, a puzzle on chess.com, and this one is a little uh, more simple than the other one. The second position is the Lucena position. It's a position, an end game that everybody has to study. Everybody has to know that end game because it's a position. And I'll, let me let me show it to you real quick here. It's this position where you may be thinking that you are drawing the game because you don't see any escape for your king, but this is totally winning. And let me show you the evolution bar here. White is totally winning, but we need to know, we need to learn how to win that position. But let me, let's start with this first one here, okay? So this chess exercise here, it's a position where we have to apply the, uh, the bridge technique, okay? So again, bridge technique, trying to block our opponent's rook, so that we can let our pawn have a safe path towards promotion. But here we can apply our checklist that we've been practicing throughout the videos. And it is that any checks captures attacks. Any checks in the position that we have that are very good? Yes, we do. We have a rook check here on b5. Remember that the black pieces in this position are looking up where it's black to move. Uh, so the, position, the black pieces are going up. Our pawn is ready to promote. But if we ever move our rook somewhere, they can just capture our pawn. And then at one point, they can start pushing their own pawn for a pawn promotion for the white pieces. So here, we have a check that is very nice. And in this position, this check is the best move for the black pieces to win. Okay, so here, after this check, let's say the king moves to g4. Now, we have to proceed with the move rook c5, blocking the white pieces from capturing our c2 pawn. So if the rook were to capture our rook, we can just capture, and if they start pushing their pawn forward, we promote into a queen, and if they were to promote into a queen as well, now we have this check from the queen on g1, and then just picking up the queen all the way in the back on g8. All right, so, uh, that's one of the sequences and remember we cannot just calculate one line and hope that our opponent just plays that line that we thought about We need to calculate at least a couple of lines a couple of sequences. Okay, so here. Let's say of our opponent um, Sorry, our opponent goes with Rook d8 then we would just go with king e7 and the rook can never make it to d1 To stop the promotion of the pawn because if the rook were to come here now you don't push the pawn forward but you just capture the rook instead with check, and that's very good for us, right? So that's, I believe that the better, the best move here for the white pieces is just to resign. You know, there's nothing better, but you can try to play on and hope that your opponent has a internet, <laughs> I don't know, difficulty or something, or they somehow run out of time, flag him, I'm not sure. Anywho, so we can go into the second position. Let's look at this position. This is the Lucena position. Okay, maybe Lucena in English, I'm not sure, but since I, uh, I'm a Spanish speaker, I like to call it Lucena. Okay, so this position, it's wide to move, but we need to be precise. This is a totally winning position. Now, when I previously showed it to you, I think we had a higher evaluation, but now it's like it says plus four plus 4.1. The idea is that it's totally winning for the white pieces, but we need to make sure that we are precise with our calculation. Okay, so it is white to move. We have a pawn here ready to promote, but our king is stuck. The rook, the black rook here is covering all the whole file for our king, and the black king is also covering some squares. So our king is a little bit stuck. So we need to be careful with what we do. Ideally here, we need to find uh, a bunch of moves work, several moves work, but let's try to keep it simple here. We start with a check in this position, and the king has a few options, right? You can either go to the right or to the left, right? 
If the king were to go here on d6, trying to keep an eye on the pawn and maybe at one point do ideas like this and capture the, the pawn with the rook, then we can just move to the side with the king and there's nothing that the black pieces can do to stop the promotion of um, the pawn, right? So if rook e1, for example, let's say, now we just promote the capture our queen and we should be able to win our king and rook end game here right so king and rook versus king that is totally winning and if you're not sure how to give a checkmate with a king and rook versus a king there's a video that will be i will be putting in the recommended videos at the end of this video i will try to put in the link uh on the description below as well okay so that you can practice your king and rook versus king uh, checkmate okay so here uh, our opponent doesn't go on to d6 but instead they would probably go to b7 let's say something like that b7 now we need to find this precise move for the white pieces which is rook c4 rook c4 we need to consider this rank okay and this rank is very important because the idea is that we would like to either bring our king this way or this way and then try to block the rook to have a clear path for promotion for our pawn all right, so here, if the rook goes to uh, d1, let's say, then we would go to the right side. If the rook stays in this file, we can try to go this other way, okay? So here, we go to f7, and then they're gonna start giving us checks. And don't panic, don't try to go back, but instead, the idea of bringing the rook to c4 is that we want to bring our king forward to then have a shield with the rook. And we, that's, the, that's the bridge, we're just creating the bridge so that the pawn can have an easy access or easy path to promotion. We start going towards our opponent's rook. Another check, we go here to d6. Don't, don't blunder, just bringing the king all the way to d5 and then they can just capture our pawn here. You know, that's just a draw. We wanna hang on to the pawn, so d6. And now, one of the last checks here Rook d1 check, we bring our king toward e5. And that's one of the final steps for winning this position because after this check on e1, now we can just cover with the rook here on e4. Okay? So if they were to capture us here, capture back, the king is too far to stop promotion from the pawn. All right? And that's why it was ideal to give a check to the king to push the king towards the left side of the board further away from our pawn. Let's say in this position, after this move, I mean, there's nothing else, right? Like the previous video, the best move for the black pieces here is to resign. Uh, because if here the rook goes to the one to try to stop the pawn, you cannot stop it because you can just give, uh, promote it to a queen. Yes. And then you can just win the game easily, hopefully. Hopefully you don't just blunder the queen or you're running low on time to then just blunder all your pieces and lose the game somehow in this position. It can happen, I'm not saying it's impossible. I mean, I'm from previous experience from all of us, right? It's very possible that we can lose this position as white. So, it's never too late, never say never. But I hope this helps you a lot. I hope, you, I hope this helps you trigger that uh, feeling of, okay, I need to learn a little bit more of like end games, how to win certain positions. But again, let me, if you're having difficulties with this, copy this position into the board editor and an analysis on chess.com. When you go to learn, you go to analysis. There we go. That's probably better. On this right side of the board, you're going to be able to see uh, the trash gun icon. So you can just press the icon. Let me also lower the, the camera. So you can, there we go. That's better, right? So you can press on the trash can, you clear the board, and then you can set up your own position of the Lucinda position that I just showed you. Hopefully you can go back and go on chess.com and put your pieces, you know, there you can, you can put all your pieces there, okay? And set up the position, and then when you load it, you can try to play against the computer, all right? Hopefully you can play against the computer, try to set up a computer that is a strong, not a weak computer, because the idea is that we want to get better. And that position is totally winning, for the white uh for the white pieces all right so let me know in the comment section below if you're able to defeat the computer once you were able to set up the board there i will try to figure out how to uh, do these things where i can just put a link and everybody has access to a board 
and put it in the description below. I'll try to figure it out maybe for next videos, future videos. But I hope you're able to learn some things, not just from today's video or from this video, but from previous videos as well, right? We have def different videos that, uh, for chess concepts, experiences at tournaments, things like that. But the chess concepts area so far, it's a very nice uh, playlist or series where you are learning things like this, you know, how to checkmate with the queen the easiest way that we can, like the square rule. All these videos are very helpful. And I hope you're, you're finding this channel uh, very fruitful to you. You know, it's, I hope it's helping you because it's been, I've been having a little, a little fun creating all this content for you guys to access it for free. And it's just taking, you know, up, it's taking my time to like set up all these things and record and create these videos. But I'm doing it for you guys to have a resource that you can access for free where you can learn chess and we can all learn together. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with the friends, share it with the family, share it with the friends or people at the chess club. Also, um, something that I would recommend for you to do, maybe look into any chess clubs or chess gatherings around your area. Sometimes people meet at the public library, maybe like some areas or some states or cities, they have chess clubs. Also, in-person tournaments, despite your level, even if you're a weaker opponent or like the, doesn't matter your ELO, your rating, go to a tournament, experience it. It's a totally different game over the board. And it's because the community, it's a very positive community. It's a very supportive community and people help each other out because we all have this passion for chess. And I hope you're able to find friends, find people and create a nice supportive, uh, a nice support group and a group that you can have fun with. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good night, bye-bye.